am so thrilled. And I'm actually uh, a bit surprised because I always felt like the judge wanted something super edgy, you know. Uh, and uh, my work, although this is quite a different, I haven't seen anybody else doing things like it, but it would be more sort of classic. Uh, you know, I'm very inspired by the local landscape. This particular piece is a two-layer tapestry. It's woven on a frame loom. The first one was designed by the woodworker and furniture designer David Ebner. And um, so he thought, of the, we kind of worked it out together, but it was him that made the first one. He's really too busy with his own work to do too many, so I've had a number of people make them since. There's this, we, we, it kind of grew, and it's two layers of warp. So first, in the back, there's a layer of warp, and this was actually woven the back first. And, and then I warped the, the front layer in that fine silk, so you could see through it. And then it was woven partially with a needle. And then, actually, this piece, I've stitched over it. So there's stitching as well as tapestry. And some of the tr techniques are very traditional, and some are very, not traditional at all. But I went to the art school at Syracuse University. I did, that was a really classic art education with a lot of drawing, with painting. I was more of an abstract painter. And then, um, a few years later, uh, my then husband and I went to uh, Guatemala. You know, before that, I did pen and ink drawings for dance papers, where I did um, the uh, captain's houses in Sag Harbor, and then somebody would write the history of the house. So I did a lot of drawing and things. But then when we went to Guatemala, it is just a just an overwhelming textile place. Every town has its own textiles. And when I came back, there was actually a tapestry class here at Guild Hall. Ah. And so I started with that, and then I really had very little opportunity to study with anybody for many, many years. Uh, I took whatever opportunities I could find. I kind of developed my own style. And then um, about 15 years ago, I studied with the master weaver uh, Archie Brennan and his wife Susan Maffei. Now they're internationally known wow. in the tapestry field. So that was a real privilege. Then I found out all the mistakes I've been making, but somehow they did anyway. Uh -huh. so that, that, the, the, the fiber just grabbed me. I love silk and I love wool and I like materials.